under the the discussion of angular momentum equation now we turn to some special cases when the flow is steady when the flow is different from steady motion and when various forces or are acting in a uh, different situation so we take into consideration and we consider some special cases with reference to that uh, one of them is a rotating lawn for to give you a practical example in our lawns we give them water we provide water to the lawn by using uh, sprinklers and these is sprinkler they rotate when they rotate they sort of provide uniform distribution of water to all parts of the lawn within the range in which they are effective so if there are several one of them then they save water they are economical and more effective as compared to watering through pipes and so on so a rotating lawn sprinkler is a good example of application of the angular momentum equation and for steady flow the total angular momentum will be given by over a control system will be r cross v r is the radius of the radial vector the v is the velocity vector times rho the density times vr dot n the normal unit vector in the direction normal to the radius the radial direction times the area of cross section da so an approximate form of the angular momentum equation in terms of average properties at inlet at inlets and outlets is equated by this equation which is very much similar to the equation that we had in linear motion there also we had similar terms and here the same thing except that the terms are substituted by taking into consideration the motion in the rotational direction so we have total angular momentum forces equals to integral over the control volume and then differentiating it times summation at the outlet and minus at the inlet so that the all forces on the whole system are considered and they are taken into account if some of them turns out to be zero or simplified then we substitute their values according to the situation for example when the flow is steady then it will mean there is no change in the motion of the fluid with respect to time mathematically that would imply d by dt is zero so therefore this part d by dt of the whether it is velocity or distance or other where the flow is steady there is no change with respect to time and therefore this total component has to be zero and the, so we have to remove that from the equation and for steady flow this equation will be reduced to uh, this form and we can write it of course in this simplified form as well the net torque acting on the control volume during steady flow is equal to the difference between the outgoing and the incoming angular momentum flow rates so the net torque which is reflected by this force the summation of all the terms that may occur here is equal to simply these terms that is the angular momentum occurring at the outgoing flow and at the incoming angular momentum flow rates so the difference will give us the net torque that is uh, taking place on the system as a whole on the control volume as a whole